guys, it's Vamps here, back here with another tutorial, teaching you guys how to do a layer style like this. I will have this PSD down in the description, for like, so you can just go and download it and you can just have this layer style. All you really need to do is, you know, copy layer style and slap it onto the ABI that you want. So I'm going to teach you how to slack, actually slap it on there, and then do this liquidy effect that's on there. Sometimes you will have to go into the actual bevel and emboss settings and change the size because on different uh oh <laughs> hold on all right my computer's been a little bit slow but yeah sometimes you will have to go into the bevel and emboss and change the size of it just depending on the size of what your actual avi is this i made for one of my old teams that i was in and i'll show you how to slap it on there on a new AVR from my newer team that I'm in right now. There it is. Alright, so as you see, there's nothing really good to it, you know. So you go over here, you click copy layer style, and paste it. You see how it doesn't really look, you know, great. You can you can just fiddle around with the size and make it look pretty dope, I guess. Uh, mm, let's leave it at that, I guess. And I'm not gonna show you the you know the uh, blue in the back. It's really no point. You can just copy and paste that again. But if you want to ever change the color of it, so like gold, I've done gold, I've done silver, I've done yellow, I've done anything pretty practically, I've done blue. You would just go to the glows, you would change that to a different color. Let's say if I wanted dark blue, or darker, lighter blue, I guess you could say. And then satin stays the same, color overlay, that's which one that you really have to change. And then you go to gradient. Just keep it a solid color. <laughs> color. Sorry. You know, just make it the same color as everything else that you have. And see, you're good. So you can do that. And to either, there's two ways you can do the liquid effect. You can either go to filter and then liquefy, or you can do the smudge tool. The little teardrop, you hold that, then you go down to the smudge tool. Usually I'll use liquify, but I just recently figured out that this is way easier to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And just kind of swipe down. Use it this nice little drip effect. You can just practically do this wherever you want, you know. Alright, and uh, you can do it on text too, but I mean, I don't know if you really, you really want it. Then again, you can change the bevel up and boss again, the size. You can even do a drip effect with it too, but I mean, I feel like it's useless. So, uh, there you have it. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, peace out.